Hello everyone, it's uh, Monday, <laughs> July 11th. I can't believe it's a week since 4th of July. That's like crazy. Um, and it's been maybe a week or so since I showed you the garden, so I thought I might do a little bit of that. I am um, making some negatives. I posted, I made a blog post, and maybe I'll put the link down below. Um, with my new work, uh, just kind of like showing pictures of all the new work I've been making for the past, oh, couple months, the cyanotypes. Um, but I'll show you some, these are the, these are the flags, the cloth, that I'm going to string into like a little prayer flaggy kind of string of flags um, for the welcome dinner at my daughter's, uh, before my daughter's wedding, so that's that's from a tin type. I made the negative and printed those. So I have, I still have maybe a half a dozen more. I need to coat the paper and do some more, um, make some more of the the um, flags with the botanicals, um, and then this was this was my tester of the. Um, confessing to the earth. Let me move this out of the way here. Oh, rather than picking it all up. So, so these were these were testers here. I showed you these. These were testers of these ones. They're the camera's making them look like a better exposure than they really are. I may try toning these two because I don't. They were a little under overexposed. Whatever. Um, and then I have all the, you know, all the hand prints, uh, mugwort and, um, money plant, linaria, those are some nests, pansies, those are pansies, that was a rose, those were toned in coffee, but they didn't end up with the same tone as the ones over there. So I'm not sure about that. And then I had all the different, um, all the different ones like this that I'm not sure. I'll probably do some toning on them. Some of them are have different kinds of exposures. So so I'm not sure. But you've probably seen some of those too. And then these two are the most recent ones that I haven't shown here because I've shown you the. The confessing to the earth ones, but these two, <laughs> these two actually turned out really well. Um, here she is, my little Baba figure. It, that's the sun that I used the um, money plant pods for, and some petals from like a brood Becky or something. And she's got poppies and buckwheat, which to me are representative of like Eastern European culture. Um, and then here she is harvesting oats and buckwheat seeds. And I put the oats, oat plants with their seed pods and buckwheat around her. And I put some extra ones on top and moved them out of the way to give a little bit more depth to it there on top of the plexi that I put on top of the negative. Um, so yeah, so I'm I'm pleased I'm pleased with all of these. Uh, the show is up in Kentucky. I can put that link down below too. Um, and it looks really good from what I've seen. I'm probably I'm not going to drive out there. That's like an eight-hour drive or whatever. Um, we're just flattening these out. Ah! Goodness gracious! I'll leave you there for now. And there's all my negatives all over the place. Um, I'm making some new negatives with, uh, I had done some double exposures. They're kind of from a different set that I'm doing. They, they're not going to, probably not going to include botanicals. And then I have some more cloth, um, like flaggy sanotypes, because the same, because the gallery in uh, Texas that has the pinhole show is going to have a cyanotype show where they're going to suspend the suspend 
the cyanotypes, and these are all cloth ones that I've never been sure what I was going to do with them. Um, now they do, there are nudes, so I don't know. I guess I'm not supposed to be showing that on YouTube, but whatever. Um, so I may, I may submit those. I don't know. I don't want to submit the new work. I have a thing about new work and not really wanting to show people the new work. Um, just yet. Been harvesting stuff from the garden. Some more cucumbers and squash today. I made an absolutely fantastic pesto the other day. It was so good. And a pesto pasta. Um, there's Avery taking it easy. Um, I don't know what's going on with our weather. It was sunny and now it's not. Um, did I tell the story about the hawk? The hawk coming at the baby birds on my porch and then I chased him away. <laughs> well, I think there's two baby birds in there. Oh, sorry, I'm putting my shoes on. And um, I hear when the, mother, when the mother comes, they make all kinds of noise. Feed me, feed me. They're still pretty little and, and I don't know. Yes, Avery, I'm talking. Um, I don't know how how quickly they grow up, but uh, they did hatch. Oh, there's some goldfinches out there. Awesome. Here, goldfinches. Where'd you go? Whoop, where'd you go? They like the, he's over on my tomatillo plant. I don't know if you can see him out there. He's kind of too far. Oh, but I love them. They're so cute. So let's see. Ah. Oof, who's out there? Is that Sally? And Sterling? Oh, there's the mama. Sorry, mama. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, let's go out this way so we don't bother the nest of birds. <laughs> All right. Oh my goodness, it's so exciting. It's so exciting. Oh yeah. yeah. I spent a lot of time watering today because um, because it hasn't rained in a little while. I think they're saying 40% chance in the next couple of days. Here's my little baby Angelica is coming up. These guys are growing. Oh, I think that's Perry next door. Howling, howling. Let me show you out here though. So these guys keep growing. I don't know that they're going to produce anything. That's the one thing that I'm not really producing this year. Do you want to come? Do you want to come out front? I was going to talk about what I'm getting this year. It is more productive. I've been with the trees out out front. It's definitely been more productive. Um, there's my hops. These guys, little roses are growing. It's just kind of sad. Oh, there's. Okay, I'm not going to bother your nest. Um, some stuff is kind of petered out a little bit. Um, like the catnip, I have to cut it down soon, but the bird, the little finches like coming to it, so I'll leave the catnip there, and, um, well, these guys, you know, the greens have actually done pretty well, and the rhubarb has done great. Um, I picked two tomatoes the other day, and there's one here that's getting, getting ripe too in there. I've got volunteer tomatillos besides the ones that I planted. Here's a pepper. Um, I've got extra comfrey that's been coming up out here. I actually picked one squash from these ones that I had taken out from out front and put over here because um, cause there were too many of them in there. So, you know, I didn't figure they'd really produce much. Uh, I saw a hummingbird come into the comfrey today, early this morning. There's a tomatillo. They're getting little blossoms on them. Um, all the mint has done well. I should cut it, cut it back. Try and dry it, I suppose, but nothing dries very well out here. Um, pepper. The peppers are looking good. They're not, you know, they're a little leggy 
because they probably get a little bit too much shade for what peppers like. But um, lemon balm's blooming, the oregano's blooming, the thyme bloomed before, all the um, coneflower, and it looks like the um, Jerusalem artichoke may start to bloom soon. I've been picking eggplant as well. The eggplants are doing okay. And there's where my cucumbers are, and I've been picking off of those. I think I'll make another batch of brined pickles today, and I might actually brine some of my squash too, because I've got so much of it. I tied up the uh, um, wormwood because uh, it was getting so tall. And finally, the mystery plants are blooming. So they do look like they are a type of sunflower, and the, I don't know what I put in there. Maybe those were some kind of sunflower seeds I put in there. <laughs> I don't, you know, hey, I don't care. They make nice cut flowers, and the pollinators like them. There's the horseradish. The lavender's pretty well bloomed out. And um, yeah, all the tomatoes are doing good. That's I picked one each from each of these. There's some little, I picked some peppers off of that one. There's another pepper on this one. And then the little, lots of cherry tomatoes, cause, so I'll probably, you know, these will just get coming like crazy. Anybody that's grown cherry tomatoes knows that they go kind of nutso. So, um, And there's more in this one. All the larkspur are down now, but there's hollyhocks through here. And this bed is looking kind of peaked. I'm going to have to cut back a lot of these things soon. Um, the hollyhocks mostly. The dill's doing okay. And there's like a little, I think this is a kind of a cosmos. And then these are those. Um, black-eyed Susan vine, and I'm just growing it in a pot. And then I have a bunch of zinnias here. The zinnias are getting big, and will probably be budding soon. And there's the cantaloupe and the ornamental corn through here. I don't see anything on the cantaloupe yet. Um, I only seeing male flowers right now. And that's where I've been getting all my squash. This is where I threw in fennel and um, nigella. Where is one of those nigella? I was going to show you the, the little bloom, which are different than the nigella that you, you get that you grow for flowers. There's some coriander in here too. Um, and the buckwheat. Look, it's buckwheat seed. <sighs> or the um, cantaloupe. Everything's okay. The exposure on this looks really weird, or it, maybe it's just too bright out here right now. And so those are the. There's some more peppers which aren't doing great right there. And the more basil. Mexican tarragon. Um, this is hibiscus. And that's doing really well. That's the kind you have for tea. And this white sage is putting out new growth in here. So, as you see the these guys are really big here. I'll show you next to me. So, so here I am. <laughs> They're like eight or nine feet tall. Um, these guys are starting to bloom. These are some other um, lavender. And 
These guys are a different variety, I think. I think those are the mammoth sunflowers, I think. Um, these have, looks like they're going to have multiple blooms. And I've been picking um, calendula and drying the petals little by little. Uh, where is that? Look, red seed poppy or opium. <laughs> Just kidding. Well, no, actually, it's true. Um, there's dill. These are going to be more bread seed poppies here. Um, all the nasturtiums along here. The meadow sweet might be blooming. I don't know. There's the um, caraway pansy. So there's an overview of this garden here. There's more baby. Um, these are all baby Angelica coming up here. So lots of valerian. I gotta figure out when to pick the roots or dig the roots on the valerian. The St. John's Ward did not do well in this spot, and I think for next year I need to move it to a sunnier spot over there. Um, but that's okay. I had enough to make a little bit of tincture and a little bit of oil. And where I took some out, I'm doing growing kale. <laughs> growing kale here now. More sunflowers. <sighs> Here's another one blooming. Hello, sunflower! So, alright. Um, I just kind of wanted to show you that. Avery, let's go the back way. Come on. No blooms on the morning glories yet, but this one I'm training around here. So, oh, one little, one, one little um, black currant. <laughs> it like hardly got any black currants. This is going to be really sour, I know. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. Mm. So, I'm training these guys around, but no blooms yet. Come on, Avery. Come on. I'll back. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come with me. So, that is, that is the garden. Come on. It's not too bad today. It hasn't been terribly humid. It probably hasn't rained in a few days. And, um, kind of hot, but not, not off. It's actually pretty good this morning. There's my stinging nettle blossoming. Oh, the backyard is fine. I'm just spending a lot more time out front these days. I do need to mow my lawns though. Um, this afternoon, however, I am... Oh, go ahead. Go on. I'm going to the podiatrist to get um, measured for orthotics, custom orthotics, because my feet still hurt. Um, so I need to do that. Oh, and I finished, well, I'm almost done with this book. It is, um, it's pretty dense. And at the end, there he's talking about exercises. I mean, even exercises you can do. These are exercises to um, use grief to heal past, um, like stuff when you were a kid that you didn't get, which many of us do, and then that affects um, how we are in relationships. So. Um, I'm going to need to take that little by little and potentially bring it in to talk to my um, counselor about, uh, but I only see her once a month. So that's about it. I'm going to get this up. Um, yeah, I got to get ready to go pretty soon. I moved my, I moved Baba Yaga to over there. So I have a little bit more room over here and plus I was having ants and dealing with all that. So I move that down there. Got my other little set up there. 
blah 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 blah. So I hope you're all doing well and until I check in next time. Bye.